Thanks, Karine. Um, the President said yesterday, I'm not going to change anything in a fundamental way. Uh, but the President's approval ratings are still uh, low. An overwhelming majority of voters in exit polls said uh, the country is headed in the wrong direction, um, especially on the economy. So is, how is the White House um, sort of squaring those two things? Um, is, is there no change needed, I guess, in terms of satisfying those voters who are saying that, that they think the country is headed in the wrong direction? Well, we think that uh, um well, let me step back for a second. What the president was talking about, that he wasn't going to renegotiate renegotiate things that have already passed, right? You think about the Inflation Reduction Act. And, uh, Republicans were very clear. They wanted to repeal that. They wanted to take away the Inflation Reduction Act. And so that's what the president was talking about, making sure that we do not take away uh, the, things that, the things that we have been able to accomplish. Look, I know you're talking about the president's poll, but... The thing about it is, when you look at these pieces of legislation, when you look at the work that we have done, when you look at the issues that the president has worked on, they're all popular. You think you think about inflation. Yes, the American people are feeling that every day. But the president has also worked on these issues, and those are the things he's not going to stop on. Those are the things he's not going to pull back on, trying to lower gas prices uh, as another uh, example of the things that he's done. You mentioned that uh, Americans are frustrated, and in fact, 75 percent of voters say the country is heading into the wrong direction, despite the results of last night. What in the next two years do you intend to do differently uh, to change people's uh, opinion of the direction of the country, particularly as you contemplate a run for president in 2024? Nothing, because they're just finding out what we're doing. The more they know about what we're doing, the more support there is. And we have more money in the, in the pot now, already, already out there, we voted for than the entire money we spent on Amtrak to begin with. President Biden yesterday drew some red lines on issues where he will not compromise with Republicans. He also did say that he would be willing to compromise with Republicans on some other issues, but he didn't say which ones specifically. So what are the areas where you guys do see room for compromise with Republicans? So as you know, the results are, all the results are not in yet, so don't want to get ahead of that. Uh, and we'll have a better sense, hopefully in the next couple of days, if not the next couple of weeks, of, um, of, you know, what the Congress, the complexion of the Congress is going to look like. I think what the president was trying to say is that the American people made themselves very clear. Uh, you know, the last couple of months, you've heard the president lay out the stark contrast. He laid out the choices that the American people had to make. Uh, just a couple days ago, and they were very clear about that. I understand you don't want to get ahead of the results, but it was the president who said yesterday that he'd be willing to compromise on certain issues. So has he not thought through what those issues no, would he, be? It's just the, no, I hear your question. You're saying he's being willing to compromise, but at the same time, we have to see what the results are. And of course he's going to say that. He's the president of the United States. Of course he's going to say, I'm willing to work with the other side. We're talking about President Biden, who has done that. The CPI uh, statement this morning from the president, uh, most of the increase that we saw in inflation last month was uh, due to rising costs for shelter. Uh, president Biden's statement didn't uh, mention that. Um, what is the administration doing to contain the rampant run up in rents right now? Of shelter specifically? So um, I don't have anything right now to share with you on that specific piece of the data. Uh, as you know, uh, the report, the way that we saw it, and as, as the president says, it shows that we are making progress, which is important as we talk about CPI, uh, on bringing inflation down. Uh, the president clearly is going to continue to do the work to bring down cost uh, for the American people. We talked about the um, gas prices and also Inflation Reduction Act, so that will continue to be. Uh, but that particular piece of the data, I don't have anything to share with you. An administration official said that one of the main objectives is to deepen their understanding of each other's priorities um, with a goal of reducing misunderstanding and misperceptions. What do you think are some misconceptions, misperceptions, misunderstandings that, that China has about the U.S.? So look, you know, I don't, don't want to get into <clears throat> deep specifics. Um, you know, I think you guys have followed the relationship uh, between the two leaders uh, over the last 20 plus months. Um, look, I think what's important to note is that, and we, you've heard us say this too, the, the president really uh, think it's important to have that face-to-face, leader-to-leader conversation, uh, and uh, and and you know the president and she has spoken I think about five times, which we've all read out to you uh, when they have spoken, and this will be the first time they'll they'll be in person, and uh, it you know we believe the president.